Hi, Pete Murray from Shooting Sports. Welcome to Gunmark TV. What we have here is an Anschutz. You wouldn't believe it, because it doesn't look like an Anschutz. Um, it's the 1771 Tactical. Uh, this is the brother gun to the 1771, which is a standard hunting rifle in small calibers like 222, 223 REM, etc. But what they've done, they've taken this chassis with a medium weight barrel and dropped it into an MDT uh, aluminium chassis stock, which is very common these days, to make a, what it is, it's a micro tactical gun basically. Um, it's got a standard, an A2 AR-15 style pistol grip, AR-15 M4 buffer tube with a very standard Rock River style uh, telescopic butt. Not the best, but you can easily take this off and put on pro proper stuff. This gun's been on test, you've probably seen it in shooting sports, and I took off the pistol grip and the butt and put on a Luff AR adjustable with a comb, and lockable, and also a uh, Trinity Force rubber over molded with a filling back strap. And believe you me, they make all the difference in shootability. I'm not saying this gun doesn't shoot, but it does. So let's have a look at it. The aluminum chassis, which completely free floats the barrel. You can probably see here, you could drive my Land Rover underneath that gap in there, it's massive. So there's no problem about anything touching the barrel. The short vestibule foreign is very, very solid. So you're gonna have no contact with anything at all. Comes with a Picatinny rail of standard that slides onto the, the, the normal 14 mil rail that Anschutz use. Um, bolt lift is 60 degrees, which is nice and short. And the handle, as you can probably see, is quite proud and also angled back a fair bit. In operation, shooting away, it's nice and natural, and the ball end helps you palm it easily. Magazine is a standard four shot single column magazine. I do think Anschutz have missed out a trick here where with MDT, they will make their chassis to fit most rifles, and you could get something that took an AR-15 mag or an Accuracy International compatible type mag. Uh, calibers the gun comes in is 300 black blackout, 204 Ruger, 222 rem and 223 rem, which all use exactly the same magazine and head size. So it's four rounder, put them in. Trigger is adjustable for length, the blade, you slack off and you can move the blade back and forwards and for weight, and believe you me, you can get this down to some ridiculous break, and, and at that it's a very unforgiving trigger. There's nothing wrong with it, it's safe, but you've just got to be a little bit too positive, and it goes. So whatever you want to set it to is entirely down to you, but you need to practice. It took me quite a few rounds when I was testing this a few months ago to get my head around the trigger. Okay, that's pretty much it for the rifle. I've um, got two sorts of ammo here today, both supplied by... Uh, Ruag Ammo Tech, RWS 223 Soft Tip, and Gecko 223 Rem, they call it Target. It's an FMJ, basically. Um, I also shot this with my 69 grain load for my 223 AR-15, and that really does like, like the heavy bullets because the, the rifle twist one in nine. On the wooden stock sporting gun, it's one in 14, and so you need to look at lighter bullets for it. But the thing shoots really well. Um, say with the 69s, ridiculous good groups. It was with the uh, Gecko, it's shooting three quarters of an inch, 100 meters, with this about an inch. Not amazing for an inch, but uh, you can, you know, if you have this gun to reload, you can muck about with it, do what you like. Up front, we've got Hawkson Moderator, which is a reflex type. And on top, which we'll be looking at later, not in this video, but another video, the new Carlis K318i Scope, which is a, a compact three to 18 by 50, which is again, quite an impressive thing. Okay, let's get on with it. Let's go in like so. Ears on. My catch here is quite nice. You just push it and it drops away. But the action is lovely and smooth. Perhaps you might not might have seen, but the trigger, the actual pull, so the take up is quite long. See, it's but it's very sweet at the end. 
Overall, this is a nice rifle. Probably, I think, about two grand, a little bit expensive what it is, but it's a definite shoot, and I can see many people who are wanting a fox type rifle, something of that nature, could be getting into it. So that's it, Anschutz 1771 Tactical. Well worth a look.